Hey guitar friends, this is Prokopis from String Systems and in today's lesson we'll see how knowing the notes on the guitar helps you make your rhythm guitar playing more interesting. There are smart ways to manipulate your movable shapes so that you can make the same chord progressions sound different in order to fit any musical situation. If you want a fun step-by-step -step system to help you learn the fretboard, use the link below to get my free mini course called Fretboard Memorization Toolbox. So let's get started. What I'm going to show you works for all types of movable chords, bar chords, drop two voicings and so on. But for the sake of simplicity, I'll use the easiest chord type there is. I'm going to use simple two note power chords, but you will see that we can do a lot with them. Let's say I'm playing a song with a power chord progression F to B flat to D flat to A flat. You could locate all these notes on string 6, which is a bit impractical because it forces you to travel big distances. But depending on the style of the song, you may want that because it gives you the option of sliding between these chords. Most people though would choose to use these root notes instead, which make it easier to stay in one place. And you can still slide a bit if you want. But what if, let's say you're playing in a band and these choices sound a bit muddy because you're playing much of the same frequencies as the bass player and the keyboard player, perhaps you want to move this same progression somewhere higher on the fretboard. If you know the notes well, you could for example just move here. Or if you have two guitars in your arrangement and the first one is playing low, like we did in the beginning, you usually don't want to play the same thing on the second guitar. Maybe you can go even higher and play a slightly different pattern. So I think you can see that being really quick at locating notes can make a big difference in your rhythm playing. Knowing the notes is not just for soloing, you can be flexible in any situation and even create variations on the fly instead of having just one option. Hey friends, this lesson is part of my free mini course called Fretboard Memorization Toolbox. If you are looking for an enjoyable and quick way to learn the fretboard, I encourage you to get it by using the link below and start learning now. It's totally free and it includes the complete lesson series plus all the necessary backing tracks and musical drills. This is Prokopis from String Systems reminding you to enjoy your practice and be effective.